Hi guys, Tom here. This will be our first Highline product comparison video. Today we're going to be looking at some of our tunable white LED strips. Uh, here we have the 240 LED 3014 strip and here we've got the 120 2 in 1 3527. Uh, we're going to be looking at some of the key differences. But first, why tunable white? So, when you're planning on lighting a space, it's important to think of the mood and the feel that you want the space to have. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell what you need, or maybe you just want the room to have a different mood at different times of the day. Uh, personally, I like having nice cool lighting in the morning, it wakes me up a bit better, and warmer, more relaxing stuff in the afternoon after work. It's an easy way to make a world of difference to the way a space feels, and with these strips, you'll never be stuck with that initial decision. Now, here we have what would appear to be two quite similar LED strips. Uh, both are tunable white, both running on 24 volts. However, there are a few key differences. The first thing to note is the difference in LEDs per meter. Uh, this strip has 120 LEDs a meter, and this one is 240. At first glance, that would make the 240 LED strips seem like the better product. But there's actually something special about this. Uh, it's the, the two-in-one LEDs. Where the 240 LED version has separate warm and cool LEDs, you might just be able to make that out from here, um, the 120 LED version has both built into one chip. Uh, this means you get all of the tunability with half of the LEDs and a considerable amount less power. The 240 LED strip uses 28.8 watts a meter uh, compared with just 19.2 watts a meter for the 120 LED strip. This might lead you to think that the 120 LED strip would put out considerably less light, but uh, this high quality strip actually surprises again. At an efficiency of 143 lumens per watt, compared to the alternative strip's 96 lumens a watt, it will give you an almost identical out light output per meter for two-thirds of the power consumption. I think overall, and slightly dependent on your budget, it seems that the 120 LED strip would be the winning option, quality-wise. 